focus control using the mean absolute deviation method. Uh, to do that, we need to find out the uh, first the tracking signal uh, so that we can see how the forecast is changing looking at the signal over time. Um, so to do that, there are a few steps. First thing, uh, we need to get the mean absolute deviation, which is, um, let's so the basically the deviation of the forecast from the demand. So basically that is equal to the demand minus the forecast and then copy all the way down. So that is these. And then um, tracking signal also needs the summation of um, these different um, for, for each of these error term for each data point. Um, so let me write it down. You will soon understand what I'm talking about. So basically I'm going to sum that. Um, I will freeze this D2 cell, but then I will not freeze that D3 and copy all the way down. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if you click in there, see it added everything all the way until this point. So summation of error until that period. That's what we want to find out. So as you can see, if you freeze that F2 cell, a D2 cell, and then don't freeze that, the D3, D3 will keep moving and keep changing to D4, 5, 6 as we move down. Um, so like that, sum of D um, minus F, which is the error. Now, let's calculate the MAD. Now, to calculate MAD, we need the absolute value of um, the... Let me put this like that, D minus F. So let's calculate the ABS of that, D minus F. Now we need MAT for each of these. So similarly, we're gonna write that um, equation, sum everything like that. We'll freeze that F2, but not F3. You will see what I'm talking about. Divide by the number of data points forecasted. That's the mean value of the mat. So uh, we need the count function and I will just simply copy like that and then freeze that F2. Now the count function does not count any empty cells. So it will only count the number. In this case, it will count just one. As you can see, it's nine divided by so if you click one of these, you can see that it added everything until that point. And this count function in this case counted about two from 12, so probably around 11, divided by 11 or something. And then the tracking signal is developed by simply the error, um, sum of error, divide by the uh, MAD. Like that. So that's the, that's the tracking signal. Um, sum of error divided by the MAD. So you have the tracking signal. And then we're going to plot that with plus minus three MAD. So upper control limit and lower control limit is used three and minus three. And if that falls within this range, so I'm gonna do copy this, plot this tracking signal, see how this forecasting method is performing. As you can see over time, it is not doing so well. So it's going out of control. So there could be some other method of forecasting um, can be used for this particular data or maybe this is just a messy data, it cannot, so, but at least this is not a good for forecasting um, method for this data set. Uh, it's, it's changing and going out of control. 